How's it going, guys? So this was this was my attempt at trying to purchase, right? So I'm doing a, a audio overlay, like so basically I'm talking over a video that I created. But basically, I kept on trying to press the refresh button. Um, you don't need to do that. Just let it let it sit, let it do what it's supposed to do, and then you'll see the buy now button in a second. So if anyone's looking to purchase, um, just take my advice when you're looking to purchase. Just let it sit. Let the buy now button prompt itself. Once you press that, you'll see a little thing pop up. Just give it some time. As you guys can see, it's taking me longer than 30 seconds to get in only because it's I'm doing all these little things trying to rush. And at the same time, I'm actually on the phone uh, doing this. So this is this kind of like it's cutting into what I'm doing. Don't type in extra money. Just type in what you came to get. I typed in 520. It's going to say you can get less than or equal to 520. I, I can't uh, 519. So then I try to type in 519. Just go one under or do exactly what you came to get. I came to get 500. I tried to get 520. I, I, I did too much. Listen. Um, so in a second, you're going to see the rest of the video. I'm going to give you much better advice than what I gave myself. Um, there's a lot of assumptions that I made when trying to buy this token. And to be honest with you, you don't need to take any of that advice, any of the assumptions, take all that out and just buy the token if you're looking to buy. All right. Okay, guys. All right. So really quick. So what you guys just saw was um, and I tried to explain it while it's going on, but it's really, really fast. Basically, that was my attempt at trying to purchase uh, Daver coin. Um, I'm going to say it however I want it because I didn't see a video from Daver coin telling people how to pronounce it. So uh, that was a video of me trying to attempt to do to show you guys how to purchase Daver coin. Now, I don't know exactly what um, is supposed to be done. Uh, so I didn't know. So this is my first time trying to buy. But as you guys saw, um, I tried to press the refresh. You can't, you don't have to press that. Just let it just go. And then just type in the amount. So you, you really want to get situated before you go to go purchase. Um, I don't want to tell anybody what to do with their money. That's, that's not the intention. My intention is to help anyone that's having trouble trying to buy into this coin or for anyone that has not attempted to buy. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is like I mentioned before. So you saw me try to buy about 520. And what happened was uh, I'll probably have I'll probably have to put in more money. So I'm going to probably make sure that for the next round, I have about six hundred dollars, six fifty in there just so that when I go to go buy my five hundred that I need, I'm not actually only buying what I can buy. I can actually type it all in very smoothly and then get done now. The reason why I'm buying into this coin, and I just want to just point this out, is because it's super popular. A lot of people are looking to buy. This coin officially sold in the first day, um, 1.2 million coin tokens in the first like 15 seconds. And then um, let's try to log in really quick. And then let's see if we can see when they sold the second amount. Uh, storefronts. Okay, this one, that one, that one, and that one, right? So I have to turn it sideways. I do apologize. That never works. Only when I'm recording that works. Okay, so second round was sold within 30 seconds, okay? So the first two rounds officially sold two, almost two and a half, two and a half million tokens in less than 45 seconds. This coin is super popular. Coins that are this popular usually sell um, for good money, you know what I mean? So I'm only just pointing that out there. That's the reason why I'm looking to buy. Usually when they're this popular, they sell for a good amount. So if you can get in, right, and if you can press the buy now button, type in the amount that you're looking to do. Don't don't get greedy like me. You saw me set up for doing 500. I tried to go a little bit above and beyond, and I went over to 519. Had I just typed in 500, I would probably would have got some. But given the fact that I had to be a little bit greedy, I had to go past my my mark. I I, I got you know I got I got got you know what I mean I I lost you know it happens. So um, I'll put more money in. I'll try to do a video of me actually buying it. I don't think it really matters. I think that they're really pointless videos. So uh, this one at, at the same time is a pointless one. But I just want to make sure that people are informed when trying to purchase this token. Um, that they're not trying to do it um, the wrong way. People actually can actually buy in. Um, so if you're looking to purchase, you know what I mean. You have um, you have the information in front of you. Like I mentioned before, make sure you have about fifty dollars worth more than what you're actually looking to purchase. Only because of the fact that they're selling so fast. You know, thirty seconds is super fast. You know that honestly, thirty seconds could mean that that person typed it in within the first three or four seconds. It just probably took twenty-seven seconds to process. But as you guys saw. It didn't take that long for me to process it because it actually processed super quick and it said that I didn't make it. 
But again, I just want to make sure that if anyone out there is looking to purchase into this coin, they are highly informed on how to get in. Um, if you haven't heard about it, you have now. And honestly, they got four more rounds. They take three days for another round to start up. So you have some time to get your funds up or beg, borrow, and steal if you're looking to get in. But I'm telling you right now, um, I'm going to get in because the popularity is super high. Now, I'm not saying it's a legit coin. I'm not saying that they're fraud. I'm not saying they're a scam. And I'm not saying they're not. Okay, all I'm saying is this is why I'm getting in because of the popularity. I have to get into whatever's popular, whatever's going to make me money. I got into BitConnect a little bit late. I did get in when it was $78. I wish I would. I wish I had someone to inform me on the token value versus the lending value. What I thought was you buy tokens and then you lend them. Okay, so this is what I thought. So you buy tokens, you lend them, you get tokens back. That's what I thought. That to me makes sense. You know what I mean? You lend tokens, you get tokens back, you get back the value of those tokens. The more tokens you buy, the better the value, the more money you make. I just that's it makes sense to me. I think a lending program that does that will be very, very successful. I just think that that's how it should work. But if you think about it, you lend out tokens and you're getting them back. You know, someone's got to lose the token money. You know what I mean? So if they're not your tokens, someone's going to lose it. So anyway, that was it. Super short video. I just want to make sure people are informed. You saw it. You saw what happened. Sucks, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? So if you have any questions, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and definitely join us in Telegram.